Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. This message is about those graduates. So, yes, it's another year of graduating seniors, graduating folks from colleges, from various schools all around our land. Congratulations. Congratulations to you. But there is that confusion that arises, doesn't it? When one graduates, whether it's leading up to graduation, during the graduation ceremony even, and afterward at the family event. What is up with some folks? Why is it that we have these demonic entities that rise up within people around a season where it's supposed to be some celebrating? A season where it's about the graduate, not about... The graduate's mother, the graduate's father, the sister, the brother. But you see, jealousy is one of those emotions that rises up. And we'll talk about some others. Somebody is jealous. They're jealous of the fact that this person made it through high school or this person made it through college or some type of trade school or what have you. They're jealous because they didn't have the discipline. They didn't have the motivation. They didn't have the money. You got to take that type of jealousy and turn it over to the one true God. Whether you're the victim of it or whether you are the one who's secretly jealous. It's time to write out the plan for your life so that you can be accomplished. So that you can be able to say, yes, I did it. Rather than looking at somebody from the distance and talking about "Mm, that family. They think they're so much better than everybody else. And now they want some money from us. And they know we don't have much money. And I don't know if we're going to even make it to the graduation and blah, 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 blah. Right. And we got those in the family. And how about those individuals who they're simply bitter? They're bitter because they weren't there during those years to educate, to promote, to teach, to lead and all that good stuff. They weren't there. But now that somebody's graduating, they're showing up. And we don't want to take that away because, hey, that's the mother or that's the father or whoever. And they want to see their grandchild or their son or their daughter or what have you graduate. But you don't have to be mixed up in that drama. You don't have to be that one that has to care for one's feelings. Oh, no. No, I'm not caring for that one's feelings. That is her feeling, not mine. I'm not responsible for her feeling. If she wasn't there, she wasn't there. But now she is. Praise them for the good that they are doing. Even though you detect some bitterness in their voice and bitterness in their mannerisms. Okay? Some fathers. Oh, the stepfather. He was there. I see that. I mean, she don't have to keep talking about the stepfather. I mean, even got my son saying the stepfather this or got my daughter saying this, that and the other about the stepfather. Okay, all right, whatever. You see, bitter. But the reality is, is that, yes, there are times in our lives we're not going to be there for our children. I'm a witness. We're not. And I know that that time had come and it gone and it had gone. So now. I'm in their lives. I'm doing all of these things, for, you know, making sure that things are taken care of or what have you. But bitter people are going to talk about those times when you weren't there. Bitter people are going to talk about those times where, you know, uh, I could have, I should have. Bitter people are going to try to discredit you or take away the things that you're doing. But don't let that stop you. You going to continue to be there for your child or for your nephew or for your niece or for your cousin. You're going to be there. And you're going to show love because at the end of the day, the child is going to respond to love. The grown son or daughter is going to respond to love. And I am a witness to that. The children responded to love, not bitterness. The children responded to appreciation, not attitude. The children responded to care and not a nonchalant You know, that uncaring sort of attitude. I know for some people, it's hard for you to see right now, but children do mature in time. They do grow up. And they do see things for what they truly are when they have their own children. Graduates everywhere. Excited. They got money that they got to put toward this thing and that thing, and some didn't receive too much of anything. But a whole lot of promises and there's the upset there's the worry there's the stress that arises when the bills start coming in 
There are those individuals that think that they can navigate a child in one direction or a grown son or daughter. And meanwhile, that made up mind says, no, that's not what I want to do. So many parents, as well as relatives, lose the graduate because they want to project their thoughts, their feelings, their dreams, their aspirations on that graduate. And that's not what you're supposed to do. The Christian knows that he or she is supposed to pray God's will. May God's will be put upon this child. May this child or grown son or daughter seek God's will on what he or she should be doing. Because some people graduate and they don't know really what they're supposed to be doing. That's a little secret, a secret that hasn't gotten out yet until you see a year or two years after graduation. They're not doing what all that money went toward. So you just don't know what you want to do, do you? Says the mother, the father, the uncle, the aunt or what have you. Because, I mean, it's been, what, how long since you graduated? And now you got to change your heart after we put all this money and all that. It's no sense in saying all of that because at the end of the day, (laughs) it's their life, isn't it? It's not yours. But I can say this and I can do this. You can say a whole lot, but do you want to maintain a relationship or not? The fastest way you can disconnect from someone is you start bringing up a whole lot about money. What you did, what you contributed to, and all of that. Oh, now suddenly they're saying thank you very much, but they're not calling you or coming around any longer because they don't want to keep hearing about all the money that you spent or all the money that you plan on spending or who spent money on the graduate. People get tired of listening to the same old, same old. And they definitely don't want to feel the guilt, the pain. Well, he should want to feel the guilt, the pain. We had to feel this and that, putting him through school. And we had to, well, you can keep on and you're going to keep on pushing him away. Is that what you want? Because you're doing a good job of it. I'm talking to a few, not all. The graduate is going to need support. Yes, even after graduation, support mentally to stay focused on his or her tasks financially because the bills are coming in. The graduate is going to need a shoulder to cry on when things don't pan out because, well, we live in a world where there is a lot of disappointments. Some of us, right? We experience that. We thought that we were going to do this and we thought we were going to do that. And then we found out that we're not doing any of it. Right. And for some, it was not so much a disappointment, but it was a relief. I had my share of disappointments, but then eventually I realized that those disappointments were out of place. There was a relief and I wasn't seeing the relief because the disappointment was coming from other people who were disappointed in me. When I got my feelings right where they needed to be and I realized what I was truly feeling was not what others wanted me to feel. They wanted me to be upset. They wanted me to be this, that, and the other. I'm talking about as time went on. It took, a, it took some time for me to figure this out. I realized that what I really needed to feel was simply relieved. Relieved that I did the things that I wanted to do. And it didn't matter whether or not I graduated or not. I did what I wanted to do. You see? Because the certificate, yeah, it looks nice. It's great. It's wonderful. But then after a while, you walk right past that certificate, whatever that certificate might be in. And then it is what it is. It becomes a piece of paper and just a piece of paper when you're not doing what that piece of paper says that you can do. Did God call the graduate? to whatever it is that he or she is now struggling with? Did God really tell you to push that child in that direction? Or was it your fleshly desires, your personal unmet needs? Oh, the truth comes out after graduation, leading up to graduation, or even when the person doesn't graduate, the truth comes out. 
And for some of you all, the truth hurts. It hurts because you realize that that person is not doing what you wanted them to do. If you want something so bad to occur for someone, it's best that you do it yourself. The mother who wants the daughter to graduate from nursing school, why don't you go to nursing school? The one who says, I want my son to get the bachelor's, the master's, the doctorate. Why don't you get the bachelor's, the master's, and the doctorate? Matter of fact, for some of these graduates, they turned around and they told the family, listen, you don't need to put all that pressure on me. Every one of you all had the capability of opening up a book, studying it, and getting your own degrees. Stay out of my life now. Thank you so much for all of what you did. But you don't need to be in every aspect of my life now. Your money is not a life sentence. Matter of fact, some people have said, let me write you a check here. And they did just that. They turned around, wrote a check to parents as well as grandparents and said, now I'm tired of you saying things about money. Okay. Don't mention it anymore. You got your money back. Blessings. <laughs> and for some, they'll never get their money back. Simply put, the person never did get what it was that you wanted them to get. And for others, God's just not going to allow any of it to happen. Whatever you was hoping or wishing to get back, he's not going to allow it to happen because he knows your heart is not in the right place. The people who get that type of honor where the child just suddenly comes back and says thank you or they acknowledge the parents and give them gifts or what have you. That's because those people, their, their hearts were in the right place. And they got their honor, but you don't keep getting it over and over and over again. Some people are just greedy for honor because there's something lacking within their own personality and their relationships and in the choices that they made or didn't make. You're not going to keep getting it. It's time for you to get the degree. It's time for you to get the certificate. It's time for you to go to that school or that class or what have you. And then you can come back and talk about how great and wonderful your experience was, you see. But putting the pressure on the graduate about what all he or she owes you or needs from you or wants from you, that's not the way to go. Once again, you want to push a child away, a grown son or daughter away, you keep on talking about all of what they need to do for you. And you'll miss out. You'll miss out on all those wonderful milestones that's ahead for that graduate. Well, once again, another one of those wake up call kind of messages. Take heed, someone. Go to the Lord. Pray about whatever it is that you're guilty as charged of. And for that one who graduated, pray God's will. And you'll find that he will meet the desires of your heart. And even if you're afraid of praying God's will, do it anyway. Because I tell you what, anything that God shows you, <laughs> his divine purpose, his divine plan, it is definitely something worth your while. I'm a witness. Thank you as always for taking time out of your busy schedule to listen. You've been listening to YouTube, Inum Enterprise 7. Subscribe today. Also, if you haven't given, we do welcome donations of all sorts. You can donate by simply purchasing a book that's one way of donating you can give um, via paypal or you can be a patreon sponsor uh, there's different ways and i appreciate those who have already given thank you as always and may god bless you too because you know you got something from the message right and it was powerful it was motivational it was inspirational and then you turned around and gave to me. And so you know how God works. He does exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think. Thanks again.